So I've never done this type of video before. I wanted to make a tutorial for the King Cool song called Cellular. Um, it came out yesterday and it's, I love it. The music video that came out with it is really good. Um, the song itself is really good on its own. I wanted to learn how to play it so I can maybe do a cover, but I think I might just make a video on how to play it instead. So here it is. The song can be broken down into about three sections. Um, I'm gonna play through the section in the beginning so you can hear what it sounds like and then walk you through what I'm doing. So we'll start with the intro. So that was the intro. I'll walk you through what I was doing now. Okay, so first things first is there is alternate tuning on this song. So it's it's just drop D though. So your sixth string will be tuned to a D. And everything else is just standard tuning. Um, for the intro, we're gonna start on a G, a low G, which is the fifth fret, sixth string. And then with that, it's gonna be fourth fret on the fourth string give us that major seven. So you kind of just have to strum and maybe mute the fifth string, but. So we're going from the fourth on the fourth string to the seventh. And I'm kind of sliding it down. And then what's happening after that is we go to the open G or the open low D. And then with that is gonna be fourth fret on the fifth string now, which also is giving us another major seven, D major seven. And so simply done, this is what it sounds like. But he's applying some more techniques to get um, different intonations. So he's sliding the, <clears throat> the seven down, kind of like that. And then he's doing a very aggressive quick slide up to the to the C sharp. So it sounds more like this. So that was a more of an exaggerated version of that just to get you the idea. But yeah, that's that's the intro. So for the verse, um, there isn't much guitar. It's really just a bass line in the recording. And it goes open. Five. on the guitar that's not too exciting if you don't have all the other production going behind it and so what I like to do is get that seventh going on there again and kind of change it up so the way I like to play it is I'll add a seventh with those I'm adding on the fourth string fourth fret second fret fourth fret again second fret and then for the D I like to do open something like that any variation of that that um, open D chord which on the top all I'm doing is fourth string fourth fret third string second fret second string, second fret, which is a, a nice open D sound. So for the last section, it's gonna transition into what I think of as the bridge. And it does so with a very dark chord. And this is what it sounds like. And it's got that um, dominant seventh in there and just like a very interesting voicing. sound very harsh and the voicing for that is going to be open sixth string fifth strings on the third fret 
fourth string is on the fourth fret, third string is on the second fret, and then the last, or sorry, the uh, second string is on the second fret. And uh, remember this because we're going to come back to it in just a sec. Here's the bridge out of this transition, is it sounds like this. We're starting with a D6 chord, so it's going to be starting on the 5th fret, we have uh, of the 5th string, we have a D, and then 4th fret of the 4th string, 4th fret of the 3rd string, 3rd fret, fret of the 2nd string, so that's 4 strings that we're strumming on this chord, and then the next 2 are going to be um, just 3 strings. So that's going to be starting on the 4th string, 5th fret, 3rd string, 4th fret, and the 2nd string, 5th fret. Then you're going to keep that shape and you're just going to move it up a whole step so that you're now starting on the 7th fret. So together, that's the first half of the bridge. The second half is similar with some changes. So first change is actually on the first chord, it's a G major 7. So because we're in drop D, we're going to start on the 5th fret of the 6th string, 5th fret of the 5th string, 4th of the 4th, and then the 4th fret of the 3rd string. And then we're going back to these two chords, which those are just the same. There's another change on the second part of the bridge. We're going to go down to a dominant type of voicing, so it's going to sound like this. Together one more time. We're gonna start with the D6 voice. Then we're just gonna hold that for the first time. Second time we're gonna go down to the um, the G voicing. Then to the diminished triad. And then to that really really dark chord at the end. Okay, and that's pretty much it for the bridge. On the last time out of the bridge, the only difference is you go to the diminished, and then you go immediately back into that D, which is the same uh, as the intro. And then you do that to the outro, and uh, that's the song. Be sure to let me know if you have any questions about um, any of the chords, any of the shapes, or if you have any corrections or anything. I think it's pretty close. But yeah, thanks again for watching.